So we'll start with the specifics. Carter tonight? Yes. And uh, is uh, Stalzi's available? Is he in? Mark Stahl will go in and uh, Belly will come out. Okay. Any changes on the forward side? No. So this little streak you're on, I mean, it's been interesting because there's on, you know, part of the game, it's patience and, and letting the game come to you. And then the other part of it, it's pressing offense. And that's been around for a while. Has this been a, a, just achieving a pretty good balance of those two things on this streak? Yeah, the, the biggest thing is us trying to stay consistent uh, as far as pressure. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of pressuring Columbus, uh, going north as quickly as possible. Uh, the, the offensive transition, I think, has been pretty consistent through, uh, through some of these games. And we just we just want to keep it simple. Go north and play. Um, yeah. So and guys are chipping in. We're getting some some people right through the lineup chipping in. Uh, as I've said all, all all since I've been here, when the momentum's on your side, you try to keep it there as, as long as you can. So that's our our goal for tonight: just to keep on trying as well as we can and try to keep on finding a way to win another game. You got 25 first period goals last year. This time you had 11. Uh, obviously, that's a, a big help. Has there been anything specific to that change, or just is that part of the, the makeup? Well, I, I just think it's uh, a, a little bit of our style of play. We, we spent a lot of time uh, for the reason because we needed to defending, we, we're teaching defending, uh, teaching away from the puck. We spent a good portion of the year. I, I think we have a much better foundation in that part of the game. And this year, it's been trying to stretch the zone, trying to take chances, trying to get going offensively. So I think it's 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 given us some life as far as uh, the energy in our game. Uh, the offensive part of the game brings you energy. Uh, we have stressed that this year, N notwithstanding, not to forget about what we learned last year and the foundation of playing away from the puck, just trying to play a complete game. And uh, found a way to score some goals early. Last year, we chased games all year long. Uh, at, at a short, a short little stint here at the beginning of the year, we have found a way to get going pretty quickly in the games. The record when you score first versus the record when you are, leave the first period trailing mm -hmm. or even even league wide. Big, yeah. yeah, what yeah. Do, I mean, why why is that when a team goes down after the first, it just doesn't the record doesn't really. You know, I have stand no up? idea. I, 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 it's it's been league wide since the game's been played. Uh, you score that first goal, you get a pretty good chance of being on the right side of it. And um, teams do they do they change their style if they get up one or two goals and just clamp down? I don't have an answer, uh, but it's tough. It, it, it's tough to come back. And uh, I think we we went through it last year. We found a way. I'm not sure what our record was, but we found a way. I, I remember in some of our games to to win some games, but. Uh, do, do the players relax more? Uh, does it give them energy? I know it gives them energy to get up in the lead and, and, and it frees you up a little bit. So I don't think it's any one particular thing. I, I, I think it's a group of things and it changes the mindset of a hockey club. Mark Sowell, you obviously have a comfort level with. You worked with him in the past. What's it like seeing his progression from when he was that like second year player to now in his career? Yeah, you know, big reason why Stalzi's here is he's a stall, first of all, uh, uh, and and just what he's gone through. Uh, I I had him when he was just a young kid in the league, and now what he what he's become as a pro. I think before you even get on the ice, I think that's really important for our guys to see. Um, he's in the way, you know. I I look at him sometimes, and I said, oh my God, he just looks so ugly. In, in, in skating, he's he's what do you call it? The mohawk? Is it the twelfth? Yeah. Yeah. He's sideways half the time. It sticks up in the air, but he gets in the way. He finds a way to defend the proper way. And uh, you know, like when I talked to him before we signed him, uh, he was supposed to be in this role in Florida last year, just kind of spot duty. They could let the young kids play, and he played over a hundred games. They go to the finals. Um, he knows his role. He knows he's not going to get away of us developing the young players on the back end, but he's so good to have there because he just stabilizes things. Uh, so he'll play tonight. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some rust. He's been out for a while. Uh, but he, 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 he's, he doesn't talk much. He never talked then. He doesn't talk now, at least with me. Um, but he doesn't need to talk. He can just he can help us right away in just how he goes about it. 
and how do you think you'll help like Elor being a young kid and, and still developing his game? Also? Yeah, yeah. Just those small conversations on the bench. Uh, if something's going wrong or something's going right, uh, he'll be aware of it. He he's been through it all, and uh, uh, those are the. Those are those those conversations from a, a teammate, a veteran guy, to a young player at that position, is so much more effective than a coach talking to the player, and, and that's what Stalzi will bring. And and Stalzi's not an emotional guy; he'll just calmly go about it with them. And I, it's so important, so much more important than Bradshaw or myself or Rocky showing him on tape. Uh, so that that's that's the important part of Mark Stahl. Does it? I mean, he's such a veteran presence, regardless. You know, and he's been around a long time, and he's but he is 36, and you would think at this point of his career, maybe chasing a cup at this point. But he came here and wanted to work with you again, and wanted to work with young kids. What's that say about his character? Yeah, we, we talked about that. Uh, you know, he, he he wanted to play, and uh, uh, I I I just he he just he wants to uh, he wants to help. He he he's in a little bit of a different role now as being a, a real veteran guy in this league. And I think, like I even asked him in the conversation before we signed him, uh, what's after he's done playing? Is he interested in coaching? And uh, I, I think he'd be good that way too. In, in just the way he carries himself, where he keeps it flat line, dry sense of humor, uh, but will get his point across. I, I think that's where he sees himself now. I'm not sure if he ever wants to coach, uh, uh, but I, I think he can help us that way. And I think he really want to grab a hold of that. Just real quick for Friday, um, the Rangers, Black Friday, it's always a big day in Philadelphia. I know last year you, you talked a little bit about the fans uh, in, in the, when there's a lot of Rangers fans there. This year it's a little bit different. The atmosphere through this win streak has been nice. Are, are you looking forward to getting on that big stage with a, with a sold out building? And, and what's it been like to play in front of a building that's been a little more energized? I uh, See, I loved it last year. No matter who was cheering for who, you, you, get, you just want, Players are entertainers. I think the more people you have in the building, the, the more energy there is uh, within your team. It, and it doesn't have to come from the coaches or, or some sort of way to get them to play. They're entertainers. So no matter who walks in that building, uh, it helps the atmosphere. And, you know, I, I am. I'm hoping someday that that's going to be a tough ticket to get for a, for a visiting fan to come in, into our building. I hope it's going to be a tough ticket. We got some work to do before we get there, and uh, that lies on us. You're at that. We'll tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. We're at that 20, that 20 game mark, roughly, and that Thanksgiving mark. And mm -hmm. you know, how do you assess your team now through the first 20 games? Well, I, I think we've uh, we've been in. Uh, there were two games in my mind that I just didn't think we were there. Um, I like the way the team has. Uh, uh, we're trying to bring a different philosophy, a different style of play. Uh, to, to our team, and I think they picked that up uh, for the most part. And again, I'm not into predictions and records and, and where we're supposed to be. This, I, I just know we've been pretty consistent. And uh, uh, so you go through a quarter of the year with the consistency that we've shown through it, I'm happy with that. Uh, having said that, you, you really don't find out about where you're going to be as a team and who you are as a team until you get into. Uh, Mid-December, after Christmas, January, and February. That's when it, it, some dog days come into play, and that's when you find out exactly who we are. So it's still very early, but if you're asking me, the games we've played, I've been happy with our consistency. Thanks, Thank sure. you. Okay. Thanks,